It's a little bit different here, different sound. Well, I am inside and it is the first time I'm going to do a screen recording because there's something I want to show you that will hopefully help in future when it comes to asking questions and getting answers and help with your orchids. This is my channel. If you've been here before, this will look familiar to you. If it's your first time here, this will not look familiar to you, but hopefully in future it will be familiar to you. Now, usually we hover around the videos, hopefully looking to see and watch videos. Eventually, we might actually wander over to playlists to see if there's some organization over there and what else we can find that we haven't watched. Sometimes we like what we see and then we join the membership and become an orchid ninja. And if we still don't get enough of our orchids, then we head over to the store and have a look and see what kind of orchid swag is available, not only just to grow the orchids, but to wear them or drink out of them. Anyway, as you can see, I have a banner up here with lots of different media choices, but you know, all the media that orchids can grow in, well, I can't list them all on the banner without the whole thing looking messy, but we are actually in the about section here. And the about section is something I wrote up when I started my channel in April of 2020. So you see here, this date is correct. That is when I set up my account, but I actually only started uploading videos in 2020. My about section has a very, very important last comment. And this is where I'm headed with the video of today. Consider this channel your access to personalized questions answered. Make it work for you and your orchids. If I can accommodate any questions you may have regarding what topic you would like to see more in depth, you are very welcome to drop your suggestions in a comment. I sincerely hope that you will enjoy this channel and use it to your advantage. So that narrows down what the video is about today. There are two key sentences in this about section. Make it work for you and your orchids and use it to your advantage. And that is what I have been working towards since the start of my channel. And I hope that so far that you're familiar with my channel that you can see that questions are being answered directly via a video as soon as time permits. Many questions are answered in the comments as well. However, I would like to change that a little bit. I would like to streamline that and I've been working towards something. So let's go and have a look at that and talk about it. And here we are. This is the same banner as my channel banner because I like to have things streamlined. I'd like you to know that you have received the correct link so that you know everything matches up and you're in the right place. Speaking of streamlining, this whole form is also something that I hope will be effective moving forward when it comes to streamlining response if you need help with your orchids or any general questions you may have about your orchids because in all the comments that I reply to, these are the main details that I need if I'm going to give you a comprehensive and proper answer that may help. So let's go through this if you're interested. As you can see here, my orchid details, there's a little intro, the reason why I'm doing this. And also there is something to note that orchid ninjas will always get priority. And I've added a link here, how you can become an orchid ninja. They will always get VIP priority response. However, if you don't want to become an orchid ninja, and if you would like to make a contribution to expedite your request, here is a link to my PayPal. I do not have a minimum as to what I consider an adequate contribution. I leave that entirely up to you, but also know that the higher contributions will be expedited faster than obviously the lower contributions. But know that none of these are there to insist upon a contribution. It is just that if my response is a little bit late, then you know that you have an option to expedite your questions regarding your orchid. This is not to say that I won't be answering in comments because the comments section of every video is very important, seeing as a lot of people go and read the comments for additional information. However, because I'm always asking the same questions, I may in future drop the link of this form into the comments section so we can get the information streamlined up and running and get the answer the help to you and your orchid as soon as possible first of all i will need your email because any replies to these forms will go through email the next thing is 
Here's a disclaimer. This service is non-refundable in the event that you make a contribution to expedite a response. If your orchid perishes, despite our best efforts to intervene and get her through whatever it is that may be going on. And this is where it's kind of advantageous to become an orchid ninja to expedite the service because you have perks on my orchid ninja page which makes your contribution work for you long term. The reason I am making this service non-refundable is because of the variables of the orchid hobby and nothing is ever guaranteed. So if you want to proceed with the questionnaire then you opt for yes. If you don't want to proceed opt for no and ignore that this ever happened. And I still appreciate that you were here and had a look-see. Thank you. The next important thing I would need to know of course is what is your social media name? YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, no matter where you saw this form and how you came to be on this form filling it out. Now very important in everything that I do on my channel is the respect of privacy. Do not provide me with your legal name unless that is your social media name. Then, of course, please do. I need your social media name because giving me a different name, I won't be able to assimilate who's who when it comes to the YouTube question and where I've put the link. So give me that name and whichever social media platform you click the link on in reference to receiving the form. Important also, let me know if you're an Orchid Ninja. This way I can sift through and understand who I have to address as a VIP. Next thing important, of course, is the genus, the species or hybrid of the orchid in question that we are dealing with. If you know the parents, please include those. That saves me a lot of time. Note, however, if you have a general question about a genus potting media mix based on your setup and environment, you have to specify the genus and still continue to fill out the form because all these variables are important for me to understand how I can help with suggestions on helping you take the right steps to help the orchid out, your situation and answer your questions properly. So I need to know how long has the orchid been in your collection? Is it a new arrival? A new arrival also means if you've just bought it from the shop, a new import. Usually that would mean if it's not in your time zone. It doesn't necessarily mean it's coming from South America or Africa. I need to know if it's a new import that came from, let's say, Hawaii and you are on the east coast of the United States or let's say in Australia, you are in Perth and the orchid was shipped to you in Sydney. I'm reaching. I'm just giving an example, okay? That is a new import, different time zones. I also need to know whether it's been in your collection less than six months. These times are relevant for me because it helps me understand what position, what situation, what circumstances surround the orchid's past in your collection, all right? And where you sourced your orchid is also important, whether you got it locally, whether you just bought it from your big box store, your garden center, it doesn't matter if you got it locally. That is important to me. Of course, online nursery within my territory. And then of course, I need to understand if you got it from a different hemisphere, for example. It's super important, I know that. How long was your orchid in transit? Less than five days includes 20 minutes. So you buying your orchid at the grocery store and bringing it home, 20 minute drive, I need to know. So that falls under the category of less than five days, seven to 10 days, more than 10 days. Those are the shipping conditions I need to understand when we are discussing your orchid. This question clearly goes hand in hand with this question. So moving on from that, what time of year did your orchid arrive in your collection? Also super important. We have Northern Southern Hemisphere seasons right here. And then for the tropics, long rainy season and short rainy season. Have you ever grown this genus before? And because of the variables in the orchid hobby, other is specified because some people wouldn't know if that is an option. What does it mean? Have I grown this before? It's a hybrid, lots of different parents, etc. So if other, don't worry about it, just add that additional detail because it is relevant. Which hemispheres do you grow your orchid in, northern, southern, and close to the equator? If you're close to the equator, I need to know altitude, approximate, if you're not sure, okay? 
and there is a box for additional information at the end of this form, that's where you can add this in, okay? Because close to the equator doesn't necessarily mean tropical temperatures, so that is important. If your orchid had experienced a pest attack, please let me know which pests. I've kind of listed the most common ones, so if you have any other pests that you've been dealing with that your orchid had to deal with, please specify that in other. Where is your orchid growing? Again, there are very many different variables of growing environments for orchids, so I have kind of listed the most general that came to my mind. Please, if you have anything that doesn't match up here, or you have a hybrid of a lot of different things, specify that here in the others category. It is also important for me to know which accessories you use for your orchids. Any kind of kit and caboodle that you have, please let me know. And of course, some of us don't have anything, so specify that there and other if I've left any out. The more detail I get about the orchid, your environment and how it came into your collection, the better. The water, I need to know that. I need to know what water you are using to water your orchid because if there is an issue with your orchid because of the water, it will help to understand as well what the water source is. Same with the PPM reading of the water. I need to understand whether your PPM is too high, whether that is causing issues, whether it's going to be too much fertilizer or if it shoots anything out of the range of normal that is affecting the root system. I would like to have that specified here. If you opt for I don't know, give me something in the additional information that'll help me understand how long this has been going on. One of my suggestions in my reply to you will be be, we need to find out before we can actually proceed and do another analysis if everything else seems to be all right. We need to know what your PPM level is of your water. So know that this is a question I won't just go and ignore and bypass. I will then encourage you to get a TDS meter, etc, etc, and we will proceed from there. Fertilizer is also quite a broad, broad subject, so I've listed a few fertilizers that I am sort of familiar with and I have an understanding about. If you do not use fertilizer, please specify. If you use anything else, please specify. Same with the supplements. I've only listed a few that I am familiar with. I've been using myself. So many variables out there. If you don't use supplements, that is fine. That is not a problem. That is not there to freak you out. And it's not there to make you think you're already doing something wrong. It just gives me more understanding. Pretty much this form is giving me x-ray vision into your circumstances and what your orchid is up against. Temperatures, those differentials are very important as well. You can specify in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Just make sure that you put a C or an F behind the numbers that you list because if I see 104, I'm in Europe, I'm thinking 104 Celsius, dang. Now, I'm pretty good at understanding Fahrenheit as well, but just be specific with what numbers you're putting behind because I'm like going, yeah, that's roasting it. Anyway, same with your humidity levels. Get to understand them if you don't know them off the top of your head. Give it a day or two to see what your humidity levels are. A minimum and a maximum is important also to know. It all relates and comes together with what orchid you are growing and having issues with. And then the list of potting media. Of course, that is like, oof, from here until, you know, ad infinitum. So specify in other what you are using. And if it's a combination, you have a multiple choice option here. So the fields will populate. If there's anything here that is not, that you are using and is not listed, put that into other as well. Also, let me know the setup of your orchid. I have put some of the setups that I know orchids are growing in. I've already listed those. And you can also specify in other that you started the orchid in XYZ setup. However, now you've got it in XYZ setup. Even that kind of information, if you would like to elaborate on that, the additional information box right at the end of the form will allow you to expand on the details of that. 
Is your orchid in active growth? Always a super, super important question to be able to see into something that I am only looking at via this form. And anything you would like to let me know about too. How long have you been growing orchids? So if you can give me as many details about your experience level as possible, that would be great. Even if your growing orchids was interrupted because life got in the way, let me know if you are really new to orchids and that time frame of course course is very difficult to determine because even though I feel I've got a lot of experience with orchids, surprise, it's orchids. Nobody's ever the perfect, perfect expert. There's always something new to learn. But let's just say you've only just started growing orchids and give it a two-year mark. That would be like a beginner category in my books. And that'll give me also an understanding as to how I can verbalize my reply to you, how detailed I need to get without overwhelming you, because sometimes help can be so overwhelming, even though it is welcome, but the jargon is also extremely important. And I want to make this as simple as possible. So knowing how long you've been growing your orchids would also help me in understanding how I have to reply to you in the lingo that I use. And please do not be offended in what I'm saying right now, but it is a completely different story talking to somebody who's been growing orchids for a long time and, and I can throw out terminology and it's just like, yeah, I know what that means, as opposed to somebody who has just started and like, oh no, what's that? So don't be offended by what I just said. It is important in how I reply to you so that I don't overwhelm, but I help. And here's the thing, how can I help? Be as specific, elaborate, write me a novel, anything about the orchid in question in as much detail. If you want to use the above questions as a guideline, just give me an idea of everything and anything that this form may not have included, but you would like to bring to my attention, including the light levels, for example. I have not added that category into this form because let's talk light, it's all relative, but it gives me a good idea, the form, where you live, how you grow, what your environment is, controlled, not controlled, etc. I can really see into the specifics just by those questions. However, here, knock yourself out, throw it all at me, even if you think you're repeating yourself. You need to be comfortable when you send this form to me that you've given me everything because this is a one-off form. There is no changing. There is no going back. Otherwise, I am going to be looking at dates and I'm going to be trying to compare the possible double information. Where is the fresh information? Where's the updated information? This is a one-off form. So take your time and let me know as much as possible right here. If, for example, you had a pest attack, then we don't need to go much further. You can check out this video, which links to the video of what I do to counteract pests with my garlic alcohol. And if after going through this form, you think, well, dang, I probably just have a pest, watch the video. And if it doesn't solve the problem within three, four months, then this form will always be available. Now, even though I can pretty much determine what is going on by you answering all the questions with the additional information, uploading images is also very helpful. So upload any images that you can, close-ups, etc. Make sure that they are sharp, that they are in focus. Again, here comes the privacy thing. Important to keep your background as neutral as possible and to avoid anything in the background that could give away your location, your personal belongings, or any personal information that may invade your privacy. I want to make sure that you feel that your information is safe with me. I can only allow image sizes of 100 megabytes so that you can upload five images. The higher I raise the quality of the megabytes, I have to reduce the amount of images that you can send to me. So I opted for the maximum images that you can upload, even though the file images are reduced. But I think it's better this way, just in case there's a lot more going on in one orchid that you would like to document and take photos of. Now, one orchid here, yes, this is for one 
or kid. Unless, of course, as specified earlier, it's about a genus. You can ask about Oncidiums, you can ask about Cattleyas, etc. But when it comes to the fact that you're answering this questionnaire, I will be focusing only on that one orchid. If you're saying about Angracums and you answer that questionnaire, I will be only zeroing in on Angracums, all right? So it is a one-off. Please understand that the generalizing of something can get a little bit messy and I won't be able to zero in on the ideal answer to help you. In the event that I would like to add some of these images and information to the Ninja Orchid social media platforms that I have because they may be helpful to others, please opt either yes or no. So basically, I am not going to own your images. I am not going to claim your images. It's just in case that there is something in those images that I don't see often in my collection that I would like to maybe share as a pop-up image in future videos of mine. So let me know if that is okay with you. And if it's not, that is absolutely fine. But it's always interesting to see different scenarios and circumstances, seeing as in my situation, I only have XYZ number of circumstances and XYZ number of scenarios based on the time of year. Please put down here the date that you have filled out this form that you're sending it to me. And if you want to, at the end, down here, toggle, send me a copy of my responses, then you can toggle that over and switch that option on so that you will receive an email with your form completely filled out. Not with my answer, just the form. When you hit submit, you will be taken to a thank you note and a PayPal link if you decide to make a contribution. So when you hit submit, the form will be sent to me and we will be in touch. The reply depending on many factors not just time because like I said in the beginning I want to expedite the help and streamline the entire question and answer and help format but of course if I have people lined up that have become orchid ninjas or have made a donation they will be addressed first but you will get an email from me saying that I have received your form and I will be working on it and you are XYZ number in line for a response. If that is then not fast enough, you can always become an Orchid Ninja and then let me know that you've become an Orchid Ninja, that you've sent me a form. And of course, the whole priority shifts then in the direction of getting to you as a VIP. So I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be useful, that it will be helpful, and that it will also be a more constructive way to get help to you and your orchid and answer any questions you may have. Let me know in the comments what you think. From here on in, my entire orchid swag link that are always pinned in the comments will from here on in feature the link to this form. Seeing as I have my orchid shop now right under my videos, the link to that in my pinned comments is obsolete and this form will be much more relevant and it is my hope that you use it to your advantage and make this channel work for you. If you've made it this far, I want to say thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing how this works for everybody moving forward. Have yourselves a beautiful day, on one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.